used for is breaking uh, shield walls. Specifically, they were used in the earliest part of the human past when the dwarfs were not their allies. Right. Well, why the dwarfs are basically unstoppable walls. Zweihander oh. equal a dwarf killer. Gotcha. Don't show it to Brie. <laughs> Absolutely show it to Brie. It's going to be funny. Hey, Brie, check out this cool sword. <laughs> I'd be more, I'm more concerned on the curse part. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty well, The cool. blades were made extra thick on the spine of them. So they had chopping power, even at the tip. <laughs> God, I am. Brie's <laughs> kryptonite. <laughs> Uh, that being said, yeah, you, you notice Gregor's weird-fitting glove. Did he have a weird-fitting glove before? I'm assuming. Not that you saw. Him. Where did the glove come from? Did that come with the sword? Was that a part of so he has gloves, right? Because you all have gloves to cover your... Walk, yeah, watch, but okay. they fit fine before. It fit fine before. Right. Now it fits very chunky. Very chunky. His fingers get under there. Uh, hmm. Oh, why would you say that? We're walking by a bunch of metal people. So yeah, what do you what do you do? Uh. uh he'll he'll just ping that on the. I guess radio, <laughs> the psychic connection. It's been like, uh, Gregor's hand seems different, odd. Something's wrong. With it. Before before you go too far in it, know he's on the network as well. Yeah, yeah. The, if I hear that and I look at my hand, do I know? Yeah, it, it, it's mostly so that if something happens, <laughs> the fucking Clint has like a hey. Here's the last thing I was thinking before something happened. Ah, uh, it's like playing Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Hey, Gregor, could it's relatively safe in here? Could you take off your glove real quick? If I noticed, I would have already taken it off before he asked. If I noticed you, something was wrong with him, as you take it off, you see your hand, and up to just past your wrist, is now made of this blue and pale green metal. Ah! <laughs> His arm is fucking blue. Blue and pale. Oh. When'd you learn to do that? Well, that's not good. Can uh, I still make a, a claw come out of that hand? No. Not at all. You can still use it and move it, but right. any sort of preternatural function to have you. Uh, if Bradford takes like, like a dagger or something, like just like kind of puts his like fingers and hands, is there any like loss of feeling? Ching! No feeling at all in it. So on on the on the actually, like yeah. Gregor, <laughs> with with your character trait, you do feel inclined to make an over dramatic gesture of this. Oh God. <laughs> Hmm. An over dramatic gesture about the hand being pinged? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, good habits. I guess he'll do like a jazz hand to the, <laughs> with the metal hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I agree. laughs> it's wonderfully, actually. I don't feel anything. Ha -ha. Da -da -da -da! <laughs> Except regret. I feel that. <laughs> he, he goes on the link again. It's like, uh, Clint Gregor slowly turning into metal. It's pretty cool looking. I, kind of, but he's turning into fucking metal. It's Get yourself sorted. Sword. We can figure it out once we regroup. Uh, unless you guys got some sort of anti curse knowledge that I wasn't aware of. Amputation. No. Mm. If I wanted to hear that diagnosis, I would have just asked Erica. We're not cutting my hand off. I don't plan on it. 
No, we'd be cutting your, most of your arm off at that point. But, that, that, nope. Regardless, let's get moving. No more distractions. Yeah, yeah. We I'll, really I'll bring up the prognosis <laughs> to the rest of my team, particularly towards Erica. Yeah, the science ones, I might be able to figure out the metal and magic. Turning into metal. Interesting. <laughs> That's all she says. <laughs> Flint regrets it immediately. Hmm. How far is it? I don't know about past his wrist crawling up his arm. Past his wrist crawling up his arm. Been about an hour and a half. That's if it stays at a static speed. That's about one tenth of the arm. <laughs> cops is good enough. <laughs> Thanks, cop. Appreciate it. Good, good prognosis. Oh, and uh, we we did long rest after Gregor, or well, when Gregor was attuning to it. So it's actually been a little bit longer than. It's well, that's a question. Like, when does one finish attunement? Does it finish like after the long rest, middle of long rest? Because you, don't, like cause you don't take a hour. short because you don't take a short rest in a long rest, technically, or else that'd be dumb as shit. So that's what I'm wondering. There could be like an extra hour in there for the hour he was awake on watch, I guess. Mm, I'll give you it. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that he's been with the sword long. <laughs> Hmm. You am to not use it anymore. Might exacerbate the system. Actually, I, check. <laughs> I love that you doesn't even finish the sentence. You're like bullshit. Can I, can, can I take that back? You should probably use it more, but only use it more, but only only if what? Only when I'm there. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, I see. I see. Keep the testing for when she can observe. Understandable. Does she seem relatively truthful on the part of, like, don't use it or it'll get worse front, or...? Yes, but she immediately regrets saying it because she... Just like Quint immediately regrets, uh, you know, giving her this information, so we can call it even. And Quint will uh, send that back to the scouts. Although, take what you will from the fact that her initial instinct was good advice. Uh, wow. What can character... Gregor... Can Gregor sheave the sword? You can. Okay. You don't have a sheath for it, but you can like put it in a band. Tuck it into like a yeah, yeah. belt or something. Just, just like stow with the intent not to use. I thought, you know, yeah. it may not let me do that. Yeah, I can only imagine what a flame bird sheath. They, they don't have they don't have a sheath. <laughs> they, they yeah. know they're issued with so sheaves. much effort and so much material. Uh, he'll grow his tail and do uh, a new blood right on the tail itself. Yep, that'll work. That still works. Oh, and for reference, if I wasn't here, your other claw did grow. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, so your claw capability still works, yeah. It's just on the one claw, which kind of means it doesn't work. So that kind of defeats the purpose. Let's go ahead. Let's go. So, you both continue. Um, here's the question: What are y'all looking for? Books and for... magic switch to open big door. Uh, Books. Supplies, materials, okay. and the things with what was it? The uh, emblems of the houses. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking for that sick. Loop. Okay. So. Uh, also looking for access upwards to try and find where the humming is coming from by going up. Right. Yeah. Okay, so roll me a survival if you're looking for a pathway. A perception okay. if you are looking for, like, armories, weapons, or gates. An investigation if you're looking for uh, harder to find things. Books or... Weapons of accolade. Okay, I will. Does anybody? Pathways. 
Does anybody on the scout team have investigation? Oh, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Jericho. Check. Or Lucian. Uh, Lucian's not there. Flores. Flora, yeah. I was gonna ask, can I have, like, one of the NPCs on my team roll investigation? Because, like, Quint wants them to go look for them, like, Doran oh. and Victor. But Quint is looking for, like, the mechanism. They can certainly team up with... Okay. What I roll for mechanism? Because it's not an armor or anything. Holy shit. God tier. Could I give him guidance? Sure. Uh, perception. And I get help to make it... Can I help someone else roll for such a... Because Quint just keeps seeing teammates at the edge of his vision. Let's see. You have Lucian with you, so yes. I'll give Lucian advantage. Er Erica doesn't have perception, so... It's okay. She's probably not really looking that hard anyways. Well, she gets that 20. I hope he gets another 20. Is she this? What do his non-elven eyes see? Thank God they're not elven. Good bit. Not bad, actually. Uh, yeah. 24? 26. The, the two was for the uh, investigation. Did anyone gotcha. inspirations, Clint? I have not. I only have two left. Gotcha. Okay. I don't have fifth level bard, man. I can't just be giving you these out when we do it. it. You feel it. 26. <laughs> yes. You find the House of the Rhino was put in charge of manning this gate as their duty to the crown. In this tower, you overlook up here at this window. That has two massive switches. One for... You, you cut out one for what? <laughs> they have two massive, uh, like, pull-down switches. Uh, one for each door. door. Man, okay. I'm just gonna... Con Does my phone sound like garbage when I connect to it? Not particularly. No, not terribly. Okay, because it doesn't cut out. Let's... You can just switch your phone if you want. I, you yeah, I, 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 I find that weird, because when you play it on Saturday, it was fine. But when you GM here, it's like it goes bonky, which I I'm c I don't know why. I'm so much okay, better. Yeah, the well we'll see for, 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 good. for now, yeah. But for the instance, I would I would yes. much rather take consistent speech. Mm -hmm. hundred <laughs> percent. Like a one hundred percent. Now he's muted. Now he's gonna check to see. Oh god. He rage quit. God, we made it worse. Alec, does Jericho have investigated? He does. Proficiency in anyway. It's not very good. Uh, what what, what, what do you got? Plus two. Uh, okay. I, okay, I got the same. <laughs> I got we flat zero. That should be better. Alright, so 26, surprised. you find the door. Uh, Doran and Victor are probably doing the most thorough investigation, both being nerds for this sort of thing. <laughs> e, nerd energy. This is no yeah, longer this... noble manor. This is now study hall. <laughs> Push up their glasses. Uh, okay, and then the other group are scouts. What did y'all roll? Uh, I didn't roll because I was waiting. Nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. Let me toss my survival downwind. <laughs> yeah, call call Saul, motherfucker. Okay. Very good. Do you want to gamble, Alec? <laughs> we just tell me Shepard. I mean, in theory, you both could just roll yourselves and it'd be the same thing as. Uh, what does Flora manage? have on investigation? Yeah. Uh, in uh, yeah might... that's what other uh, thing I was pulling up. Clint would let the other team know that the door controls have been located, but we're not cracking them open until we're ready to extract. Mm -hmm. She has a zero. Okay, right, well. So we got two zeros yeah. and two zeros. <laughs> she does have an 11 on perception, though. Oh, geez. Did I use my uh, re-roll last game after we long rested? Yes, you did, because you had on a save, I believe, against the, the fool. Probably. Uh, I, I think I remember that you re-rolled it, and it re-rolled into, like, basically the same thing, and we're just <laughs> like... Hmm, Man, 14's uh, about as good. Oh, yeah, that's right. 13 and a 13 you still have. What up, Joran? We're in the... Uh, 
inner ring of Psychusia right now. 15. The party is split between people scouting a knight's repository and us in a creepy noble manner, which has a bunch of inanimate people that are sort of like scattered around like dolls mid dance. Don't worry, the dolls are inanimate, and we found the door controls to get the fuck out of here and open the big doors. Are you here to play Jordan, or are you just hanging out for a bit? He's... Oh, there you go. Gotcha. Okay. So you are with you are with Clint. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Fifteen on investigation. <laughs> not, not particularly great. Um. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, is it too late to give a skull dick to Gregor? I forgot I could do that. It is not, no. Alright, okay, let's then know. add a... Uh, I think it's D6 right now. What it is right now, or is it start at D8? Uh, D6, I believe is what... It's D6, yeah. It's Thank you. You know what, fucking astronomically better. Okay, a 19. Roll me a D100. Okay. Uh, Phil does find an armory that has many... Um, that's good. That's good. That's that's Assuming pretty that's good. good yeah. uh, Thor finds an armory that has like plenty of suits of armors and weapons. Uh, okay, I forgot what I said. Survival was for finding paths and such, like uh, trying to go up and things. You easily, easily find the way to the bell tower up top. Let's go. I need probably like a 10 to find the staircase. <laughs> uh, and then we have a 19 with an 89. Let me just pull up something real quick. Let me just get that there chart. I'm leaving. Why do you have like a little... And, uh, no, no, one, two, three, four. Okay, roll me a 1d25. Oh, you guys are rolling on a loot table, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, okay, remember one is... No one fucking use the cursed shit. Remember that. Okay. But but if you do, let me know the results. <laughs> Very neat. Uh, all right. <laughs> you find if you find a gun. I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> no, actually, I should have made it a one d twenty six. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian finally finds. A gun that Magic. hurts dark ones. JK. What do they find? See, you find a hand axe that looks like this. Oh, Ooh. hand axe, you say? Curved grip. And it has a massive lion's head on the top at the uh, base with a mane that comes to the back. And a very flat... Um, blade on the front side. It would probably be a little bit more point. A little point on it. Thank you for drawing out the reference for my new project. I think you need more of those. Just don't remind me to shut up. And let me see one more thing. Because you, you did pretty good with what you could possibly do. Uh, yes. Fucking lunchtime doodle. Don't judge me. Judge the shit out of you. <laughs> so roll me a d6. Oh no. Mm. Average? Pretty average. A three. Okay. Oh, that's actually really good. Radiant. Oh. Nuclear. Anthrax. Psychic. Um, since it's the two of you working together, I'll say, Gregor, you find this hand axe, and then 
You you see it, Jericho. What do I see? Perhaps one of the only pieces of fabric still in this city. It is a set of black and gold half plate with a long uh, cloak that goes over one shoulder. The It goes over the left shoulder and the right pauldron is larger on the uh, uncovered side. And it has gold trim down it and right in the center of the breastplate. It has a roaring lion. And it looks to be in the style of a dear friend. Uh, he has walked up to it and like traced a hand over the... Well, first things first, inspecting the, the cloak, seeing that it's in good condition, right? Correct. Which makes him think perhaps it's magical. It's likely magical. Uh, As you touch it, you see there's a thin lining of uh, chain on the inside. And I will give you this because you've probably heard him say it. This was actually... The cloak was a gift from an elven faction that they helped make peace with. As such, it is lined with elven mithril all down the inside of the cloak. Uh, is anyone with him right now? Yeah, Any of you? Gregor is. Okay. Um, Gregor, you'd, you'd hear him whisper. Yeah, I couldn't see you wearing something like this, Gus. And then I'll start taking off whatever mannequin it's on. It's it's very light. Mm -hmm. Probably the whole thing weighs about eight pounds. Uh, I won't ask for any details now, but I'll just add it to my inventory as a half plate. As you take it off, roll me another charisma save. You're gonna be a knight, Jericho. We're gonna make you into no. a. We're gonna make you into a knight like your cousin. <laughs> I want to wear the half plate so bad. You no, feel? No, you get you you get metal metal sword hand. No, your cousin <laughs> gets knight. You'll be half plate soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold, hold, baby. You feel that weight get heavier on you. I think, uh... And now... Go ahead. No, uh... Go on, please. And now that it's happened twice, you're starting to make it out. The weight you're feeling has been associated with the implements of the knights that you are holding. and the burden in which they share. I think... I don't, I don't think hearing that my first instinct was to try and put it on, but instead he will uh, 
uh, once again for, force himself to square his shoulders uh, and look up at nothing, basically, at the ceiling uh, as he gives a small nod and once again, whoever's there will hear him say, I'll carry this burn for a little bit. For you, Gus. And he'll... Uh, whatever he has to do to sort of finagle it into his, his pack, he will put this, uh, these armor plates in there. Very good. As you're doing that and you say that, you see a small bit of lining around the coif light up with the same words that were on the statue. Which was, I, I had scrolled up to remind myself on this ground, lunge drawn. So, he just repeats that, uh, that last part to himself. I fall in rubber, sir. Uh, uh, almost forgetting you were there as soon as uh, 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 Gregor speaks again uh, his head will like shoot up to look at you and say what's that? I'll nod and uh, start walking back towards the door hmm. right feeling a bit more awkward now he puts his backpack uh, back on his back uh, uh, English language uh, and he'll get back to looking very good so you find several other things um, mostly about let's see I'll write it out to make it easier <laughs> Holy God Almighty. How much is in this armory? I say half right. a full because the difference is just the greaves. Right. Like it, it, we find it at a mm -hmm. full, but it can become half. Okay. Right. But we be able to tell. Technically, that... it can become a breastplate. Would we be able to tell if it's better quality than what we have from the watch? I think it's probably better if it's generic stuff. It's better than the weighted stuff your allies have. Mm -hmm. It's not as good as your graduation full kit. Right. The lion's uh, mantled gear if properly taken care of, is definitely on or above that level. Very good. So, all this stuff we found, good quality, not magic. That's ideal. Whenever we see uh, Bradford again, Gregor will pass him the lion hand axe. And Bradford will put it in his bag for later because he is not going to fucking use that right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, it takes an hour to attune to it, and we don't have an hour right now. We gotta get, yeah, up, yeah, get yeah, going. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Um, he does say thank Funny you say that about me a perception. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man, that's fucking wild. We have to. I wonder what we're uh, potentially gonna hear. Come on, Bradford. Come on, hot dice. Mm, All of us? Is 19 enough? <laughs> well, it's, uh, Jericho fucking destroyed it. Nice. All of us or no? Yep. It's that shit. You know what it's for. I, I don't know anything, man. When these rolls happen, you don't know. <laughs> so I ask. Oh, they're good, but are they good enough rolls? 
Nope. The only one that passes is Jericho. Let's go, though. You hear another breaking of a chain. He shares it over comes. It's another one. Seems again. This one seems getting quieter. But are they getting faster or slower? Bring it up to Doran. Uh, how, are they changing uh, tempo? This one was only seven minutes. Uh oh. Oh no! So it's not a matter of time. It's a matter of us doing something. We Perhaps found the they're easier to break the less change that are still remain. Makes sense. There's left to hold her down. Yeah. So if it's so if it's exponentially increasing in speed, can we approximate? Mm. Fuck, I might only have Let's not uh, distract ourselves with math. I'm not even good at it. You know what? That's a very good point. <laughs> Thanks, we'll stay here looking for another 10 minutes and then we'll meet up with you at the uh, 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 noble thing. Captain don't, Clint. Don't bother. Meet us at the gate. Where's the victor? The armored people do not attack us outside the walls. So we've observed so far, yeah. Does the Red Queen operate under the same condition? We have no reason to believe otherwise. But I understand your concern. There's nothing we can do I... to stop her chains from breaking. Not right now. Perhaps we should make ourselves scarce before they do that. A cold trail is harder to follow than a warm one. You guys find some red material? We found some materials. And only one book. Good enough. Get ready to extract. I don't know if opening this door is going to wake up stuff. Understood. Are we meeting up all back here before we open it? I told him to meet us at the gate. Understood, Captain. Let it be known, Dorn. You're the designated survivor. You see, just for the smallest of rolling inside, actually. My boy. Anyway, oh my boy. Just for the smallest moment, you see his cowl flicker to the left to where Victor is standing. Before saying, I understand. Quinn catches it, but Dora knows what Quinn's about. Hopefully, the position's not needed. Actually, Let's ensure that. <coughs> the rest of you make your way out of this place. Regroup at the doorway that leads around the hedge wall. I'll open the levers. I can get out of here pretty fast. Oh, you said that overcomes. What would you say again? No, I sent that to my team. Okay, sorry. Roger. They make their way. Uh, you get no 